Hi there. This is another addition to the series that starts with loading images, adding labels based upon the directory they're located in, building a neural net, saving the neural net, and loading the neural net. In this one, we're going to load the saved neural net and launch a window chooser, a file chooser, uh, so that users could test wild images against the trained model. Briefly discuss JFile Chooser. I'm going to focus on the neural net parts and not necessarily upon the user interface parts. Uh, native Image Loader, which is used to take the wild image that they choose uh, and prepare it for testing by the neural net. Image Preprocessing Scaler, to make sure that the image from the wild is scaled exactly like the image that the neural net was trained on. And then Multilayer Network Output, where we gather the output of probabilities by passing our wild image into the network. There are more examples available at the top URL and a quick start guide on how to get started using the examples is available at the second URL. Enjoy! In the previous examples in this series, we built an image pipeline that added labels. Then we took that image pipeline, uh, passed the data to a neural network using a data set iterator and a parent path label generator. Uh, and then we saved the model and then we loaded the model. In this example, we are going to load the model and give the user a file chooser uh, that allows them to pick a random image that they may have downloaded from the internet and use that, use the output of the neural net to evaluate that image. So let's go ahead and create a new class to write this code. And let's call this MNIST image pipeline uh, load and then chooser. Going to set our logger. We need some code to allow the user to choose a file. So we're going to use a JFile Chooser for that. This first little block of code uh, just launches a pop-up window uh, to allow the user to choose a file. We'll need our public static void main. Pop-up window will come up. The user will choose a file. We'll take that file, uh, treat it as an image, and we'll take that image and we'll pass it through to our neural net. So what do we need to know? Well, we need to know that our neural net was trained on images of a particular size, and we need to scale those images to that size. So let's borrow some code from a previous example where we specify the height, width, and channels of the image because these will have to match. The neural net will return uh, the probabilities of the 10 possible labels. It does not return the labels themselves. When we read our data in, if we were to call record reader get labels, it would return uh, ordered list of the labels that were generated. We needed to have kept that so that when we run this code and we get the probabilities we can compare the two. If we run the model and it says oh it's zero then that means it was the digit two. If it's nine it's the digit nine. If it's five it's the digit six. So I save that from the first or running example. I save the output of record reader get labels and I'm going to build a list here. Now let's write the code to pop up the file chooser. We need to load the model, so I'm going to borrow some code from the example load that we demonstrated earlier. 
And that's this, the location to save, the path to the saved neural net. And in addition to the path, we also need this code right here, multi-layer network model, a model serializer, restore multi-layer network. Now we have the file the user chose, and we have our network to test it against. So let's go ahead and put some output. So first thing, a file chose is a string. We will need a file. Once we have the file, how are we going to convert it into the matrix of numerical data that needs to get sent to our network? Well, we're going to use Native Image Loader to do that. And so we want a new Native Image Loader. And we need to specify the height, the width, and the channels. So 28 by 28, one channel, grayscale. We need to get the image into an IND array. And the tool we use to do that is we say IND array image equals our loader as a matrix and then the file. This would work at this point, but notice that it would uh, have values in the matrix of 0 to 255. And when we train the network, we scaled those from 0 to 1. So we need to do to this data set the same thing we did uh, to the first data set, and that is use a data normalization scaler. To set the values from 0 to 1. And then we call that scaler on our image data set. So what this does is it takes uh, the range of values 0 to 255 uh, and normalizes them so there are values between 0 and 1. Now we pass it through to our neural net and gather the output. So the output is going to be a IND array and we're going to ask our model for output by passing it our image. So we read the image from the file chooser we scale the image here with the native image loader to uh, black and white and 28 by 28. Here we take the pixel data, that'll be 0 to 255, and convert that to a value between 0 and 1. And then here we pass that uh, through to our neural net and gather the array of output probabilities. So let's log some info. So to review, we get the model output as this ND array. We output some information so you know what file was chosen. And then we output the output to string, the list of probabilities, and then the labels to string so we can compare the two. We'll now be able to choose a file and pass it through to our neural network. So what file will we choose? Let's just do a Google search for images of the digit 3. Let's pick this one. And let's call it a star big 3 so I can find it easily. And let's go ahead and save it in my home directory. Okay, so I've got a file big3.png 
in my home directory. Let's go ahead and run our neural net and see what our neural net thinks of big three there. Let's run it. We get a file chooser and we see big3.png right there. Let's open it. It's going to take some time while the network loads our neural net. And let's see the prediction. So it has a 49% chance of it, it has a 49 probability of it being 2, a 41 probability of it being 8. So it doesn't seem to be classifying that image very well. Let's test it against some image that we know. Let's test it against the same data it was trained on. So here's a directory containing the MNIST data itself. So this is absolutely a 2. Let's see if our neural network agrees. So we're passing it an image from the directory 2. And we see that 97% chance it thinks that it's a 2. So what's the issue with the big 3 that we grabbed? Well, if we take a look at that MNIST data set, maybe we see the issue. All right, we've got uh, white digits on a black background, and when we passed it that big three, it's a black digit on a white background. So let's fix that. Now my big three is a white three on a black background. Now let's run our test. How to do that time? Oh, absolutely. So it absolutely recognized that as a three. So that's my example. Uh, it launches a chooser. The chooser gives you uh, a choice of a file to load. That file is converted to 28 by 28 grayscale and then uh, passed through our pre-trained neural network. Works pretty good. Thank you.